We'll use Test Driven Development, or TDD, to add a feature. Players have guardians, so add a guardians.py file containing another placeholder class. We'll again let PyCharm generate our test file and test for us. As before, we make a construction test as a sanity check, letting PyCharm generate the import for us. This time, we will run all the tests in the tests folder. Our new test passes, as well as the previous one. That's a good place to start implementation. But first, let's get PyCharm into a good TDD flow. We will turn off some of the toolbars and tool windows. And even turn off tabs. Then split vertically. With our code on the left, our tests for that code on the right, and the test output at the bottom. One last step for a good TDD flow. Change our tests to always run after a configurable delay. Adding a failed test causes a rerun, no save required. Same for removing it. Let's implement a guardian first and last name, starting with a new failing test. Even before the test runs, we fail faster, so to speak, with an IDE warning. The test fails. We need to add a missing constructor that takes and stores first name and last name on the guardian instance. The test passes, but we didn't test anything. Let's get back to TDD, Test Driven Development, adding an assertion for first name. Some folks like the assert order to be expected than actual. Let's store a setting by creating a pytest.ini file containing a swap diff value. Now we tell PyCharm to flip the arguments. Finish by adding a test for last name. 